Bitcoin is unstoppable. The drop off to the lows of the bear market of 2022 can be gained today. If so, the gate is open to test the all time high. Bitcoin seems unstoppable in 2024 and the test of 68k is just looking like a formality. Is it time to buy before the FOMO enters the market? Let's find it out in today's analysis. Hello people, I'm the Naked Trader and today I will analyze Bitcoin USDT, Uber, Kespa USDT, IOTEX USDT, Alphabet Incorporated, also known as Google, and Ethereum. But before we start, would you be so kind to press that subscribe button? It will help me a lot. And while on the way, also press the like button. I will appreciate it a lot. So if you're not a member of Team Naked Trader yet, press that subscribe button, please, and become one. We will also recap the analysis of Uber in 2010. 23 in January, I've drawn some scenarios and one of them played out with more than 170% profits. Also, we will recap the full analyze of IOTEX from 9th of April in 2023 with about 500% profits. And for now, let's kick off with the weekly performance of the crypto market. Overall, it's been a green week. We have some big green numbers. Sia coin 55%, Feechain 48%, the graph 27%. What is this? BGB, Bidget Token 54%, Rweave 38%, Sai 39%. So some huge numbers this week. Very nice. And some red ones like a star minus seven percent and from the weekly let's change to the daily today sentiment also green overall the graph 15 percent run 16 percent beam 12 percent wu network 6.2 percent ada is up almost eight percent and today's red ones kespa minus 4.4 tron minus two room minus one only some small numbers and from here let's go to the coin market cap currently a market cap of 1.95 trillion with a 24 hour volume of 64.56 billion about 61 days for the halvening that's about two months currently it's february so much april april is the halvening and current, the current fear and greed index is indicated at 74, which indicates greed. And the top 10 coins are Bitcoin. By the way, Bitcoin entered the 1 trillion market cap. So that's also nice. Uh, on second place, Ethereum, Binance, Solana, Ripple, Cardano, Avalanche and Dodge. And from the crypto market, I will go to... The weekly performance of the stock market overall a mixed sentiment a lot of green numbers with the small ones but the big ones were in red this week microsoft minus 3.92 apple went down more than three percent google went down more than five percent amazon went down meta went up uber went up more than ten percent so that's nice and from here, let's kick off with the monthly chart of Bitcoin. So one, two, three, four, five, six green candles. Nice. And what do we see on the monthly chart? We have only some resistance left between 56 and 61. Okay, so that's nice. This is open from the monthly. Let's change to the weekly. Yeah, if it breaks through the 52K, then the, the, it's quite open. 
quite open until 50, 57, 57k, yes, okay. I will show the weekly levels. So 46,000 was the weekly drop off to the, to the lows of 2022. And today we can close above. So interesting about 11 hours to, the, to close today's candle. How high can we close? Okay, from the weekly, let's change to the daily. Nice, holding above 50,800. I will show last week's scenario. Okay, well, it went even higher than expected on the daily, and that's nice. We tested the 53k just below. So I will remove those two scenarios. So this one still possible, entry at 44,000. I want to see the four hour. Okay. I will add some more scenarios. An entry here at 49,000, trying to break the 53K. Entry at 46,900, trying to continue the upwards momentum. This one's still in play, the entry of uh, 44,200. Or we will go straight up from where we are now entering the last resistance around 57k with a pullback probably around 52 53 trying to break the 57k so for possible scenarios for bitcoin the coming days and from bitcoin i will go to uber I've charted this one in January 2023. I will leave a link in the description. And if we change to the daily, this scenario played out quite well. So we expect resistance here at 36.93 as it happened and support at 29.51. And if you have played this one, you could have had more than 170%. So congratulations. Take some profits. Increase your stop loss if you still didn't do it. And for now, I want to start with a clean chart. So I'll remove everything. Go back to the weekly. So currently at all time high levels. Let's zoom in a bit. Twenty-eight. 
three interesting points to enter a long position from the weekly I will change to the daily So okay, I'll go back to the weekly and I'll add some scenarios. So either here the entry around sixty dollar, trying to break the all-time high of eighty dollar. If it fall through the support of sixty dollar. Then I will enter more defensive either here at $48. This one is a potential of 22%. The aggressive play is a potential of 33%. And else the defensive play at $44 trying to go up from there. And if it continues to go up, then wait for a pullback entry. Yeah, four possible scenarios for Uber. And from Uber, I will go to Kespa currently at the weekly chart at all time highs, about 16 cents. Okay. Wow, so a few weeks ago, if you bought it here at the lows in June 23, then you could have had more about 1000% about profits. Wow, insane, okay. Okay, from the weekly, let's change to the daily. This one is already tested, 7.8 cents over here. Twenty percent. Thirty-eight. Okay, I will add some scenarios for the coming days. This one is very aggressive. It's not not my favor favorite one because the RR is very low. I prefer to have more reward. And this one is still aggressive. The test of 11.6 cents with a reward of about 20%. First target point around 14 cents. I will wait for this one. The start of the impulse, about 10 cents, trying to go up from there. But be aware, if it loses support here of 10 cents, 
the next support level is at 5 cents. So that's a huge gap, is half half of the price. So wait for a lower time frame confirmation to enter your position. And if you miss it, then you miss it. Yeah, we are risk managers, so okay, we want to avoid a lot of risk. From Kespa USDT, I will go to IOTEX. I've tried this one also somewhere in April 2023. And as you can see, three scenarios. There was some interaction here at 2.4 cents. It fell through support of 1.8 cents, but later there was some interaction here. And the most defensive play played out the entry at 1.2 cents. So if you and if you have entered here the defensive play of 1.2 cents, you could have had more than 500% profits. Congratulations! I will post the link of the video in the description to check out, so you can check out the full analyze. Yes, and for now. I want to start with a clean chart, so I'll remove everything. Let's go to the weekly. Currently the weekly resistance point of 6.7 cents. was resistance over here in April 21, support over here, support over here, and eventually the drop off to the lows From the weekly, let's change to the daily. And let's go back in the past. Okay. So I will add some scenarios for the coming days. Either a test here of the 4.7 cents, trying to break the current high of 6.7 cents, or the entry here at 3.9 cents. Trying to go up from there. And if it somehow managed to go up from here straight away, let's say test of the 10 cents, then a pullback entry at around 6 cents, just above, trying to break the 10 cents. Yeah, but be aware if it loses support of 3.9 cents, then the next test is here at 2.4 cents. So four possible scenarios for IOTEX USDT and from IOTEX I will go to Google.
also known as alphabet. I've charted this one somewhere in March 2023. Didn't play out, went straight up. And currently it really rejected the all time high. If it rejected the drop off here, created a new all time high. I want to start with a. I want to start with a clean chart. <clears throat> so the all time high just above one hundred fifty two dollar. Okay, let's change to the daily. Interesting what will happen Monday. Here was the last impulse which causes the all time high. It held support over here. It uh, pick up some liquidation liquidity from here and Monday if the candle open and close below then this whole range is lost and it will test lower okay let's change to the weekly So either an entry here around 127, trying to go up from there, and else I will wait for the more defensive play entry around 108, trying to go up from there, and if it managed to, if it managed to to go up. Create a new all time high again. Wait. If it managed to go up, a gain of the last high pullback with an entry just above 135, aiming for higher levels. So, three possible scenarios for Google. And from Google, I'll go to Ethereum, starting at the monthly. I just want to show the difference between Ethereum and Bitcoin. Ethereum is still trying to gain this. And Bitcoin is already here on the way to the all time high. So interesting. Ethereum is still behind. And from the monthly, let's change to the weekly. Today's candle is probably the gain of the last high here of uh, 2490. I will show the levels. About 11 hours to close today's candle. Interesting. So the reward is in favor by Ethereum currently. Okay, and from the weekly, let's change to the daily, and I will make last week's plan visible. By the way, if you have any requests, just drop it down in the comments below, and I might try that in the next one. Okay, we are currently 
at the resistance area of 2857 as drawn last week. So if you are in a short, then you could have had some profits just above 4%, take some profits and increase your stop loss. The long played out nice and currently having facing some resistance. I will remove those two. So this one is still in play, the test of 2388. Okay, I will add some more scenarios. It can either be more aggressive, the test of 2618, trying to go up from there. Or this one, the test of 2517, trying to go up from there. And if I change to the weekly, okay, can also happen that Ethereum will test, let's say here, somewhere with around 3400 with a pullback entry at 2857 aiming for higher levels. So four possible scenarios for Ethereum the coming days. And for now, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Join Team Naked Trader, subscribe, press the like button if you be so kind, and enjoy your Sunday. See you guys in the next one. Cheers, bye bye.